From the earliest days of my career, I got a lot of inspiration from award websites. Um, sites that featured daily winners. Um, one of those sites that I used to visit every day was the favorite website award, the FWA. And for the longest time, I wanted to be one of those winners. So I worked on a lot of flash projects, which is what the majority of the FWA um, had been awarding for many, many years. And I never really worked on any projects alone that won these awards, but I kept trying and I was inspired by many individuals and many agencies that really made it big. And I always wanted one of these awards. Uh, for me, it was like winning an Oscar. Uh, I think that anybody who looked for daily inspiration would have included the FWA as part of their um, sites that they would visit all the time. So in 2011, after Flash had been killed by Steve Jobs, I finally won my first FWA. And it was the mobile of the day, I think on the 16th of March, 2011. And it was for a responsive website. In 2010, at the end of the year, I bought from a book apart, um, the HTML5 and CSS3 books. And in that, Ethan Marquardt had a chapter all about responsive web design. So I read through that and decided to build my new portfolio site in HTML5. For the time, there was nobody doing responsive websites. And it was a real feather in my cap when I won a mobile of the day. Because mobile was like the new thing, nobody was doing anything with mobile. And so to actually be one of the first people to win a mobile of the day with a responsive website was pretty impressive. What was more impressive for me was that at the time, I don't think between the companies and the very few individuals there weren't a lot of FWA winners from South Africa, yet alone Africa. And of that, I don't think there was more than one or two people who had ever even won a mobile of the day from South Africa. So for me, it was like a huge achievement. I'm super proud of it. It took forever for me to actually um, print out my certificate but it's one of the most beautiful things I have and for the longest time I've had it sitting rolled up ready to be framed and I got it framed earlier this year and I've put it up in my lounge so that I can remind myself every day that for over a decade I wanted to receive one of these awards and I did it with my portfolio site and literally two weeks in my December holiday I relearned HTML and applied it in such a great way that I won the award that I'd always tried to achieve. So thanks for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.